I was really struggling in high school um, and particularly um, being in the closet at the time, I was struggling with a whole bunch of you know, things around identity. So when that happened, it happened at two different stages in my life and from when I was nine to when I was 12. I had been telling myself without realising that I had asked for those situations to happen. How many funerals have you been to? Well, I've been to more than 100. I've called Barrett about 13, 14 times. I've done 11 eulogies. And she said, well, I work for an organisation that collects the children that have been left on the street by their parents. And I said, what do you mean, leave on the street? We all know our world needs some pretty big changes. But how do you decide to start making those changes yourself? I'm Mary Bolling, and this is Seek University Australia's life-changing podcast, How to Change a Life. And this second series from March 2022, we're meeting more people who made tough decisions not just to change their lives, but to change the lives around them. And uh, my great grandmother said, that boy is going to become a doctor. I didn't think achieving that, I guess, doctor status was at all possible because no one in my family actually even went to university. I could not do public speaking. There's no way. I was the most incredibly shy person you could ever imagine. And he said to me, he says, Nareed, if you can't get up into a, in a room, you will not be a good sister. I remember going one day with uh, Amanda to the cinema in Southbank and, and, and I said to her, one day we'll come here and we'll watch something with me in it. And Amanda said, I know we will. Each episode follows the journey of someone who dived in the deep end into study or a new career or just flat out changing the world. You know, the parents think that they're doing a service to their child, that the child will get a better life. But the reality is 99% of those children end up in prostitution or drug gangs. And I remember going home and I devoured that first day textbook. I, got, I read the entire book cover to cover overnight and it just clicked. I thought, oh, this is really interesting. I do remember on my first workshop, I was absolutely drained. I couldn't, I think I lost my voice after the first one and it was just a high energy for six hours. Um, but I knew, I knew that I was in the right place. I was exactly where I needed to be. Hear from global leaders and passionate locals transforming the people, places and systems around them and follow their steps, not always in the right direction, to making change happen. It makes sense and I enjoy it and I want to learn more about it. And since then, I've just kind of followed the dopamine. (laughs) And I knew that I could make a difference. I don't have skills in everything, but I know the skills that I do have and I know that I can apply them. And so I, I just said to them, what can I do to help? If the past couple of years have got you wondering where to from here, you're definitely not alone. Search CQ University Podcasts on your podcast app, then hit follow for new episode alerts and get ready to discover how to change a life.